on, you missed a meeting. How's it going guys, Captain Barnacle. Uh, welcome to my channel, On the Boat. Uh, today's episode, we're going to take a look at the possible concerns uh, and information regarding the speckled trout regulations um, that are being proposed by the uh, Fish and Wildlife. So stay tuned. So as we knew, there was going to be a, a hearing on this at some point in the beginning of the year, and it, it happened to be yesterday, February 1st, 2023, at 2 p.m. in Baton Rouge. Um, so there was some information that came out, and uh, and a decision was made as of right now on how to proceed with the uh, regulations. Um, so let's take a look at those. So let's take a look at some of the players involved, um, mainly those two that were presenting um, the information from the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Cole Garrett, um, General Counsel for the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Jason Adrian, Fisheries Biologist with the Marine Fisheries Division at Wildlife and Fisheries. Now, those guys had a great presentation, and I'll link to the uh, video in the description below um, about the PowerPoint slide that they had with all the numbers. Um, but now we're going to get on to the comment section from the state representatives. Um, a joint session between ha the House representatives and the state Senate. We're going to kick things off with uh, Senator Alon. I'm sorry if I mispronounce these names. I never was good at names, but uh, let's see what he has, he has to say. I'm in favor of doing whatever it takes to rebound the stock. I'm very familiar with the terms overfished, which is what got us to where we are, overfishing, which makes it worse. But the only thing I see here is proposals to pull back on recreational fishermen. When recreational fishermen call us and said, the only thing you're doing is affecting us, you're not looking at increasing habitat, or you're not taking this step and you're not taking that step, all you're doing is cutting the amount of fish that we can fish, it's hard to defend that. Uh, optics of it are bad, okay? And look, I support doing everything we can to, to rebuild the stocks, but there has to be more input, if you will, more planning, more things we can do than just cut the limits no matter how we do it, I would hope that we could look for some other measures that are proactive besides just cutting back on the recreational fish. Uh, there were some valid points by the senator um, about who this is affecting and what it would mean for the state. Um, next up, we're going to have Senator Connick uh, and his statements about whether the hurricanes had any effect on the fishing stock over the past years since Katrina. You're looking at the decline since 2005, basically, how much impact have the hurricanes had on this problem compared to the overfishing? Um, I don't know that we could directly model the environmental impacts versus fishing impacts. We're just not, science isn't at that point yet. But obviously, beginning with Katrina, um, that hurricane and subsequent hurricanes have removed large chunks of coastal habitat. And so there's definitely there's definitely an issue with the habitat that that was removed at that point through those hurricanes. All right, I know Ida came through, and like south of Lafitte, and north of, ba of uh, Grand Isle, all that marsh area just tore up. And I think that's the area for spawning, typically those areas. Or? Uh, it, trout spawn down closer to the beaches. Um, they prefer 15 parts or or greater to spawn in more more near the coast, passes beaches. Okay. The last questions presented were by Representative Romero, um, and his questions were, were based off of the difference between the east and the west, as the west zones have a different limit in regulation than the east zones, and whether or not there's a, a possibility for um, tracking this before it was implemented. Let's take a look. The um, the south, the western part of the state does self-imposed right 15 a 15 um, number bag limit how does those numbers compare to the rest of the state is that have we gotten better numbers in our part of the state correct so one issue with calcasieu and cameron is that's about eight percent of the effort statewide and about 12 percent of the harvest so it's very low harvest very low effort over there we're currently running this assessment statewide but what I can say is over in that, uh, even since the imposition of those, those differing regulations, 
they have also seen that decrease in those age three plus. And so they've lost that older age class and, and they're in the same position size wise. Um, the fish are slightly bigger, but not much more. It could be the fishermen. My last question, how long does it take for a fish to grow typically an inch and a half? It, that inch and a half in the summer, you're talking a month, maybe a month and a half. Um, if it's over the fall and winter, maybe a season. By next season, it'll be there. Uh, Thank you. They, they grow rather quickly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Man, I can't believe they called you guys out like that. They said you suck at fishing. So after it was all said and done, that was the last comment. Um, there were two representatives, uh, one state senator and one uh, state representative that proposed the motion um, to deem the rule unacceptable and unusable. Um, so let's take a look at the comments that they had while they were doing these motions. Like Senator Allen, I don't think this conversation is over today. I, I think we have a long way to go here. I think we, the burden of, on us is to broaden our scope and our, and our ideas on the subject and look at it in a different lights and, and different perspectives. It's not our job in this committee to pr come up with size and scope and, and all those things. That's the commissions. But we do have the ability to say no. And I can take the temperature of a room. So I am right now making a motion to move to deem the rule unusable. You know, I, I don't know whether or not you had any geographical data on where your respondents are, but at least from my district, uh, the the numbers didn't didn't match up i think you know the, overwhelmingly the people have said that they from my district at least that they're okay with the the change from 25 down to 15 but not with changing 12 to 13 and a half and uh yeah uh I mean, I understand you're a biologist, and we went through COVID, and we we heard Dr. Fauci talk about you know lockdowns of what we need, and now in retrospect, as bad as it was, uh, we know that for the economy's sake, maybe some some medium ground in there could have been possible. So I'm thinking maybe that's where we are, and we need to relook at this a little bit better. And but I totally appreciate your pure bi biology side of of your rationale. But uh, I'm going to also make a motion to deem the rule unacceptable by the Oversight Committee. After it was all said and done, the mo both motions were uh, not objected to, which means the, the rule did not pass. Um, so where do we go forward from here? So there's two options for fish and wildlife. Um, they can either continue what they're doing with the assessments, um, since they've been doing it since 2019, and come back probably next year again uh, with another notice of intent, or they can amendment, amend it, and uh, if they do that, most likely amendment will be uh, 15 bag limit with the 12 inch size as that seemed to be the most popular. And that was a real big sticking point. The whole, the whole proceeding is that both parties, the Fish and Wildlife officials and the representatives are trying to do what's right for the constituent um, and the people that they are, are serving. Um, it didn't seem like they were out to screw anybody. That the, the presentation hit home that the, the highest percentage of approval for the proposed rule was the 13 and a half inch by uh, 15 bag limit um, that also yielded the numbers that they were trying to achieve um, in implementing this rule. Um, that's why it's so important to contact your local representatives and let them know how you feel um, about things going on in the community. Alrighty guys, that's it for this episode. Um, like I said, if, uh, if, if you think I've earned it, hit that subscribe button. If you, if you want to see content related to this, uh, go ahead and comment below. I want to hear your opinions. What do you guys think of this rule? Do you think it's, you're for it? You're against it? You don't want things to change? You think the, the, fish, the fish are really disappearing? You think the stock's being overfished? Um, but uh, yeah, go ahead and leave those down there in the comment section, and, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.